MSI is coming. Dev update. Mid-season bot. What's this? Hey everyone, I'm Andre, also known I as set up so f Jeremy, aka Riot Brightman. Now, today is Monday, April 17th, and we're back for our fourth of these dev update videos. We have a lot to cover today, and f you, Brightman. Stop f***ing smiling at me like that, you piece of shit. We're going to be joined by a familiar face to many of you. Who? Ryan Reeve Morales, who will be talking about new champions and the upcoming 2v2v2v2 game mode. But before we get to Holy that, freak, let's a new talk game about mid-season, ranked reset, itemization changes, and some quality of life updates. Okay, for the first time, we're doing a partial ranked reset in July. That's right. Before starting the second ranked split. We've got a blog from last November where we go into all the reasons why and details, and we'll link that in the description of this video. But we'll use this mid-season to make some adjustments to game systems and content. Not at the scale of pre-season, like when we redo the runes or items. Just, did, okay, just stop. Bro, if you, if, so I don't know what you're about to say, but if you just reverted pre-season patch, the game's safe. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. I don't think the game's that bad. Playing it off stream, I don't think it's that bad. Seriously, there's like there's a few like bullshit things, but honestly, I think I said the same thing last year at this point as well, actually. Because last year we were in Korea and I was like, the game's in the best state it's been in in a while, and they instantly killed it. Item systems. Now, there's some fucked up things like Rod of Ages and Seraph still. Or the jungle, every time. <laughs> or the jungle, but it's going to be a boons or item systems. Or the jungle, every time. <laughs> or the jungle, but it's going to be a bit more than a standard balance patch. Now, the biggest focus of the mid-season this time will be on itemization. At a high background. level, we're not very happy with the current state of mythic items as an overall system, and based off your feedback, neither are a lot of you. Therefore, we need to find a better direction for them. So at mid-season, we're going to be testing some stuff out. And we're going to be trying that. I love it when they test things out mid-season. So exciting and good for the game. You know, that's what I said before. So now that the season, so they don't use preseason. See, it, they're in such a f state because they don't use preseason. And it, they, because they don't use preseason, it them all. Now that splits are half and half, they use the first two months of the split to test. And then they try and fix it during the next two months. And then the split's over. And now they're going to test it again in the next split. It's like all f through changes to ADC mythic items, some overall changes to lethality, working on game health there especially, and starting an update on enchant items to be more satisfying and fun to use. We're then going to take the learnings from that work to inform our future plans for the item system as a whole, likely meaning a bunch of other changes in preseason. If we're seeing a lot more promise in mythic items after those changes, we'll commit to that, we'll continue, we'll reinforce that, that newfound direction. If that's still not working though, you know, we'll then explore some much more divergent approaches, you know, radical changes to how mythic items function and why they're there, or potentially just removal of mythic items I as ass. a concept. You know, we keep I the items around, remove mythic items. but take out the restriction, etc. Bro, it's been like fucking, we couldn't do that two years ago? Why did we wait so long? And retune their balance. Beyond that, a couple of other things to note for the mid-season. This is when the Ivan Midscope update that we mentioned a little while back is going to come out. And it's also very likely that we're going to ship buff sharing for the red and blue jungle buffs. For everybody, Wait. not just when I play them. This is when the Ivan Midscope update that we mentioned Iver. a little while back is going to come update. out. That character is so bad! Bro, you know what made me stop playing Ivern? I played with an Ivern. I played with an Ivern. The guy wasn't even playing bad. The entire game, I just didn't even notice him. He didn't even play bad. I just didn't even notice him in the game. And then we just like lost. I was like, wait, dude, just play a 45? Like, that's literally what, so I was like, okay, I'm not playing that champ again. If, if that's what it's like to play with Ivern, I'm not playing that champ again. He is so useless. It's so crazy. He doesn't do, like, so his ult is countered by smite. His shield is countered by an item. His Q takes you to melee range unless you use a, fucking, a, a certain command, right? He has to auto from bushes, but he gets one shot by everything. He doesn't have a million. Like, he's a bad character. And I played with a guy, and he, he was like like three zero twelve, like score line, like eighty percent KP. But like we just lost, and he couldn't take dragon, and anything happened, couldn't face it. it was so depressing. I was like, damn. And it's also very likely that we're going to ship buff sharing for the red and blue jungle buffs for everybody, not just when Ivan's in the game. <laughs> now, if you want to hear more about the optimization side of things, there's a dev blog out today that has some more detail on our thinking there. All right, now let's talk about bots. 
And actually, today we're going to talk about two kinds: the bad kind and the good kind. And the ugly. Go on. <laughs> I previously mentioned Wait. that we'd be. In <laughs> Was that funny? Bad kind and the good kind. And the ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey at least at, at least bright moon is having a good time i don't care bro it is what it is bro and removing unwanted bots in your games we recently could i gotta, I gotta watch previously it. kinds the bad kind and the good kind and the ugly <laughs> <laughs> hey good for you bright moon we're happy for you bud I previously mentioned that we'd be investing in removing unwanted bots in your games we recently conducted a major bot banning wave so you should see less unwanted bots in queues, including in ranked. Now, we do these bans quietly and in waves, so it's harder for bot makers to respond to. So that's why we don't often- It's actually really crazy, because bot games in a- Bots ruin, like, co-op if you try it- or AI if you try and level by yourself. Because they, like, take your lane, and they don't do anything, and they DC, and there's so many. Bro, Riot needs to get rid of all this shit. needs to get rid of buying accounts. Often talk about these. But we're still working on it and working in this space. We'll share more updates on that in the future. Okay, now let's talk about the good kind of bots, the kind that you actually want in your games. We've brought a new team together focusing on improving our bot AI. We want to build bots that will help new and experienced players alike practice and get better at League in a lower stakes and less stressful environment. Our improved bot AI systems will also give our devs new tools to work with and open doors to new content. We'll be testing these new bots I mean, on PBE later sucks. this year, and would love your feedback. Tutorial sucks. These new bots also can order pizza and have it delivered to your house anytime you want if you just ask them. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Is there a diff log? Anyway, um, dude, new players can't play League. Just from Riot, they can't play League, or just yeah, just from like the client. You don't learn. Tutorials dog shit. You queue up for bots to like try and learn bots. You're playing with eight different AI bots. The f enemy bots are dumbasses. You can't learn the game. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan Reeve Morales, lead producer of Gameplay and League of Legends. So a long time ago, we promised a new Gee, champion Ryan. and one that wasn't a cute cat or with some humanoid features like Belveth, a champion for people that like dark and scary monsters. Well, we're finally ready to release that champion. Nefiri will be a new, straightforward, easier to pick up and play assassin. Or assassins, I guess. Technically a pack of assassins? We also oh, have a new job assassin. Oh, I get, oh, it's the forcing fucking disgusting E in the background. That out, that I just, dude, it just explains it. Because if you're doing that, you have to be a degenerate. They have to, you just have to be a, a degenerate. You do, bro. And that, dude, they need to stop making these. The Fury will be a new, straightforward, easier to pick up and play assassin. Or assassins, I guess. Technically a pack of assassins? We also have a new jungler named Briar, being restrained in champ development, but her bloodlust won't be I don't want any new champs, man. And now for some sad news. I know you're all super excited for the Skarner VGU, as we saw a lot of positive reception for his new direction in the last Skarner dev vlog. Don't worry, he's still in development. But we're gonna need some extra time to make sure we get his gameplay just right. What that, oh, that means is Skarner won't chair? make it out this year, and is looking more like early next year. But it's not all bad news, because as we take time to get Skarner's gameplay right, the artists that we're gonna work on Skarner have been working on a visual update that many of you top lane fighter players will be very excited about. So if you remember, earlier this year we released a small gameplay update to Jax. Yeah. Well, later this yeah. year, Are we we're going to pair that with a visual update to Jax as well. I'm sure you're all wondering the same question we were wondering. Why are you f***ing reworking Jax and buffing Jax? He doesn't need a visual update anyway. F*** the champion. You f***ing bro broke. He takes no skill to play. Nobody likes playing against Jax. Not a single, not one person. Yeah, which wondering. is out right now. Now I want to give a, a little update the background? on the 2v2v2v2 game mode, which we're going to ship with the big summer event. In the champion roadmap, is which is out right now. Now I want to get all of the. Is that a foot? R right there? Or is that an elbow? Yeah, that's, so, so you're telling me these guys are playing with their feet kicked up. I wear shoes at work. We got our feet kicked up, 
chilling. Oh, no, wait. This guy's playing. No, wait. It's He's sitting this way in sandals. Oh, they're in sandals. <laughs> are we trolling? Bro, are we troll? This is how they come to work in fucking sandals? Like, they just got back from the beach or something? Are we ki Are you kidding me? Surely this has to be a fucking meme, bro. We can't be... Bro, back in the day, I would say, oh, right, games, and they're beanbag chairs. Dude, <laughs> this is why nothing gets done. In the champion roadmap, which is out right now. Now I want to give a little update on the 2v2v2v2 game mode, which we're going to ship with the big summer event this year. We are also building a completely new map from the ground up to support the mode. We can't wait to hear what you think about it when you get to play it in a few months. That's it for me. Here's Riot Bright Moon and Meddler. Now, before we go, I want to remind you, MSI is coming up. Fuck and MSI. there's an MSI State of the Game esports video out today with our global head of League Esports, Naz Alataha. She and I talk about everything we're doing for the event, including Ink Shadow Skins, info about watch rewards, and details on the event itself. Beyond that, if you're interested, please don't forget to check out the dev blogs we've got on AI bots, Not optimization, reading. and the champion roadmap. Don't read. And as always, We'd love any feedback you have on these videos in terms of content we cover, what we don't cover, overall format, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. <laughs> Thank you all, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Fuck you. Goodbye, Brave. Hey everyone, I'm Andre. Comments too positive. Downvote and move on. I mean, so what? This is something that I didn't really. I'm not reading the blog post, to be honest, but I kind of got distracted mid-video about um. All this the back. Turn the club, you'll be